This is a quick tutorial on how to use GeoGebra to uh, graph an optimization uh, situation. So uh, we're going to use three uh, optimization situations. Um, and we're going to start off with x plus y is greater than or equal to 50. And our first line is drawn. Now, we can't see our line because at the moment our axes are too small. So if we scroll out, we can now see the line that we've drawn. We're going to use x is less than or equal to 100. And we're also going to use x plus y is less than or equal to 90. So we're now looking for the area which is common between all of these. Um, and we can see that we have this shaded area that's beginning to appear. So we are also going to need to have uh, another one. So we're going to have x is greater than or equal to 20. So we can now see that we have this area here which is shaded. So now we know which area is shaded, we can remove our um, inequality from our um, equations. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through these and we are going to just place these with an equal sign. And we're going to see why we want to do this in a second. And we can see that these are just changing to regular lines. So we knew that this was the area here which was shaded before. So what we're going to do is we're going to come here and we're going to choose the polygon tool. And we're actually going to draw our polygon in by clicking on the points where our lines intersect. And going back up to A again. So now we've got our um, shaded area that we've drawn onto our, um, onto our graph. And if you want to, you can actually remove the labels of the segments. You can right-click and remove the labels. So now we've got our points. So we probably also want to, um, in our label for our points, uh, we want to show the name and the value. So each one will now have its coordinate next to it. So if we go through, we can choose name and value, name and value name and value. Now going back to our lines, our lines now don't have the correct equation to go with them. However, if in the caption box we put x plus y is greater than or equal to 50 and we choose our label to show as a caption instead, we now show the correct equation for our lines. So x is less than or equal to 100 for c x uh, plus y is less than or equal to 90 and this one is x is greater than or equal to 20. So let me just go through and make sure that I picked caption for all of these. x is less than or equal to 100 And now we can see that each of our lines has the correct label associated with it, apart from C. So x plus y is less than or equal to 90. Okay, so to make them appear somewhere more convenient, you can click them and you can drag them. If you move your lines it's because you're not um, on the arrow and you've not selected the actual object. And to make this more useful we probably want to show a grid as well. So we can move our graphics view so that this becomes a little bit more usable. If we zoom in we can move it so we can see more of it. And then you're just going to need to adjust these so that they're not hidden by other things. Or hidden by the line. So that now we have, and again, we can move these too, so they're not 
uh, across the axis. So now we can see that we've got a uh, we've got an optimization graph with the area shaded, all of the points identified, and with the equations of the line written on. Now, if we want to take this and we want to use this somewhere else, we can go to File and Export, and we can export the graphics view, uh, and we can choose to put this on the clipboard, we can save it, and we can also choose the scale that we're going to use.